but lately i've been rocking black wigs and i don't know it's probably maybe it's my new thing who knows hi guys welcome back so right now i'm about to dye my synthetic wigs i have two wigs that i want to dye i did look up a few videos on tiktok as well as youtube and i found a few but nothing really as to what i was looking for in particular but it's okay i'm gonna dye them black these are the two wigs by the way you guys saw them on my channel already i really i love this wig this wig how this looks on my head i really love it but y'all i've been feeling black hair lately i've been rocking the black wigs and i'm like who is she if y'all go on my channel and scroll down there was always some type of color in my hair i probably had one black wig but i think it's a new era y'all i think it's a new era but who knows i might go back to color the wig tomorrow but for now i know i want to dye these black this wig looks very wiggy on my hair on my head I don't really care for it that much and i think i want to cut it but i'm just gonna wait first first i'm gonna dye it see how it fits and maybe i cut it so let's get into it i'm gonna do the watercolor method i think i did that method once on my channel i think that's the only time i ever tried it so i have my water is boiling at the moment and i have a black dye from a door let me get the dye this is a dye I'm going to use. This is from Adore and it's jet black. And honestly, I don't like jet black hair on my head. I find it's just too harsh. I normally go for a 1B or like a dark brown. But I can't even talk today because this is pink and this is blonde. I think... I need a jet black if i feel like if i use a natural black it won't first of all i don't even know if this is gonna turn <laughs> this is just a trial and error thing and i feel like if i use a natural black dye it's probably gonna be not dark enough so that's why i went for jet black but let's begin so right now i'm in my bathroom i'm gonna do this messiness in my bathroom because it makes sense I'm using this bucket. I wish I had one of those clear containers, but I don't, so whatever. I'm gonna use this. Let me just turn so you guys can see. a few of you already guessed it but the wig did not die i still have a pink wig and a blonde wig because i was using the wrong hair dye like why no one told me the videos i saw no one really explained why they were using the red dye because i saw everyone using that and i was like okay well i just use what i have but you are supposed to use this dye this one that marks synthetics this red brand and hold on this is a red dye and as y'all can see it marks synthetic so this is what you're supposed to use when you are dyeing synthetic wigs and you can get this in so many different colors y'all why no one told me this i never knew you can dye synthetic wigs but now i know now i know but anyway we're gonna go back and start this process all over again and this time i'm gonna be dyeing it on the stove top because um the temperature is supposed to remain the same and make sure if you guys are dyeing synthetic wigs that it is heat resistance i can add heat to these till about i think 180 degrees or something like that so the process goes as this i have this big large pot and i do not use this pot for cooking this is a pot i use as a double boiler when i'm making hair products so this is a perfect pot to use if you are doing this on a stove top and you're using one of your pans, a pot or whatever, please do not use it to cook after because this is a lot of chemicals, okay? 
and no matter how much you wash it I believe it still remains in here so this is the pot that I'm using and I also have this spatula that I also don't use for cooking I have this thermometer that I'm also gonna use to test the water temperature so yeah let's get started so I'm starting off by wearing my gloves. I wasn't sure if the dye was going to stain my hands or not. But overall, it's always good to protect your skin. So always wear your gloves. At this point, my water was hot. It was boiling. So I proceeded to add half of the bottle. Um, after I did like a check with a paper towel to see how dark it was. I also did a strand test on the pink wig to see if I needed to add more of the product. I wasn't too sure. So I just ended up adding the whole bottle and after i just proceed adding the entire wig into the water and i let it boil for about 45 minutes but i kept checking it in and off on and off sorry just to see how far the process was i did the exact same thing with a blonde wig but i left that one on for about an hour because i was waiting for it to turn black but it just turned to like a dark green so after a while i just decided to take it out by the way, do y'all see the amount of steam that is coming out of this pot? It looked like I was doing a magic trick. <laughs> I was a little scared, but um, overall everything turned out great, so nothing to be scared about. Maybe I needed to add a little bit more water. I don't know what that was, or maybe it's the chemical, but don't worry if you see all of that steam, it's perfectly fine. After I rinsed out the wig, I washed it. As you can see, I added a little bit too much of the dish soap but yeah and by the way i don't use shampoo on my synthetic wigs because i'm like it's synthetic anyway so this soap will be just fine once i done washing i did use a fabric softener to get the wig back to life but that wasn't working so i ended up using some of the novex conditioner and y'all this conditioner really really made the hair so soft i love this conditioner also for my own hair so yes if your hair of your wigs are brittle and hard definitely give this one a try and here's me filming some content for TikTok. If you guys are not following me on there, I have the links down below. So go ahead, y'all. Make sure y'all follow me on there also. And this is how the wig turned out. This was the pink wig. As you can see, there's a little bit of purple on the back. And I really like that because it kind of makes the wig not so dark. Like I mentioned before, I don't like my hair to be like super dark. But this blonde wig, I was not expecting this color. This is actually a vibe. I feel like it goes well with the winter that it's coming soon. So... What y'all think about this color? Right now, I'm going to try on the wigs because why not? <laughs> I'm very curious to see how the... Is it blue? What color is it? It's like blue, black wig looks on me. I thought it was going to turn black, but it didn't. But it's okay. The color is pretty nice. Okay, hold on y'all. I need to go in front of the mirror this is the first wig obviously I still have to fix the lace my edges and all that but this is what it looks like I think I want to cut some um, layers in the front just to frame my face so I'm gonna do that in a minute but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like and I don't know I think the black is a little too black I don't like when my hair is like super black I find it's too harsh but I don't know yet. I have. To, I think I'll have to just fix it up and then see how I feel about it. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Let me try on the other one. I was not expecting this color. I thought it was going to turn out to be black, but I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. I find it goes well with the winter vibe also. So this is it. I don't know how to feel about this one. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm not too crazy about the color. I thought I would have liked it, but seeing it on me, I don't know. I think if I cut this into like, you know, a nice short bob, it's going to look way better than it's how it's looking right now. Because it kind of makes me look like an old lady. <laughs> What y'all think? Right now, I'm going to attempt to cut some layers in this wig and style it. I was going to do it off camera, but I think I'm just going to leave the camera rolling so you guys can see. It's, I'm going to attempt to do the butterfly method. And that is when you part behind your ears and you put it into a section and a back section and a ponytail, but a high ponytail, and you're just going to cut the hair.
So I have two sections, so now I'm going to cut the first section and then I'm going to continue to cut in the second section. Yeah, so this is how the hair turned out i absolutely love it i love the layers i love the curls i do wish that the black was just a little bit lighter i find that it's a little too dark a little too harsh but overall it came out pretty good comment below let me know if you guys ever tried dying a synthetic wig or if will or if you would ever try doing it it's very simple very easy you also in the video how i did it and there's tons of videos out there showing you how to do it the step by step maybe i didn't explain it correctly so do your research and definitely check it out y'all saw how it came out this was once a pink wig and now it's black and the other wig is looking very good also so yeah y'all and now that i know how to dye a synthetic wig y'all my hands are itching my hands are itching my hands are itching i think this is gonna be a regular thing for me because I've been working synthetic wigs for a while now, but I just didn't know I could have dyed them. Now that I found out I can dye these wigs, say no more. But overall, um, like I said, really love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.